Hi there, my name is Alex Cavalli. I make high-end headphone amps from my company, Cavalli Audio. My first headphone amp was uh, Liquid Fire. Liquid Fire is what I call an embedded hybrid headphone amp. That means the tubes and the solid state components are all blended together in a single DC coupled amp. Um, the Liquid Fire has powered since its introduction probably a hundred sets of headphones. Um, the next of my uh, amplifiers is a Liquid Lightning which is a solid state electrostatic headphone amp. You can see it right there with Stax SR009s. And the uh, third and newest product from Cavalli Audio is called Liquid Glass. And Liquid Glass and Liquid Hybrid and uh, Liquid Fire are both hybrid headphone amplifiers, but they're very different. The Liquid Fire is a circuit where the tubes in solid state are blended together, um, and it's not really designed for tube rolling. It's designed to emphasize the quality of one particular type of tube. Uh, whereas the Liquid Glass uh, handles, or rather can roll probably over a hundred different tube types. So unlike other amps where you can roll two of the tubes of the same type, but different vintages and different manufacturers, the Liquid Glass will allow you to roll many different tube types. So on the table here we have 6SN7s and 12AU7s and 6GU7s and VT181s and at least a hundred different types of tubes can go in this amp. It self-adjusts and the interesting thing about it is that the output buffer is transparent to the sound of the tube. So whatever tube you put in there, whatever it sounds like, um, is what the sound is that comes out the back end of the amp. So it's a really cool amp for somebody that has lots of tubes and wants to do some tube rolling. I think it's the only one of its kind uh, on the market today. So this is my stuff. And I hope you all will think about it. I just want to showcase the fact that it has two different, two different sockets. Can you talk about that? Sure. So we'll just uh, step through it. I'll just turn it off. And you can see that there are octal tubes in there now. You can just probably see barely behind there that there are no vol sockets. But if I pull one of these out, it's going to be a little toasty. <laughs> uh, you can see the no vol sockets in the back. So if I want to change to a 9-pin tube, I just pop them in, make sure that the uh, heater voltage is set right, which in this case I know it's already correct for this tube. And you also may notice that there's kind of a physical interlock so that if you put either one of these tubes in one channel you can't put the other one in because they simply physically block each other. So you can't make the mistake of putting two tubes in one channel. So here it is, we'll just fire it up and it'll come right up. It has the uh, classic Cavalli Audio heater warm-up delay time, so you'll see that it won't apply the, the high voltages uh, to the tubes until the heaters are warmed up, and then it has an offset delay detection system, so it waits until all the DC at the output settles before it connects the headphones. And it's just about through its cycle, and in another 15 seconds, it'll be ready to go. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you.